What's up YouTube peeps and barbecue freaks. Thank you guys for joining me today. In today's video, we are going to cook a uh, brisket and some ribs on my new Z Grills pellet smoker. I'm really excited about this cook. I'm excited to bring you guys along, show you this grill. Um, I do have another video where I kind of go into a little more detail about the grill, why I decided to team up with Z Grills and um, use their, their pellet smoker in my videos. But I just wanted to shoot this quick clip uh, because I am gonna do a cook tonight. It is Friday night. I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm going to do an overnight cook. So most of this footage will probably, at, at least the, the beginning of the, the, the uh, cooking process is gonna be done at night. I'm not sure how much light I'm gonna have outside uh, so you may not be able to see a whole lot, but I'm going to take you outside. I'm going to show you the Z grills. I'm going to talk about it uh, just a little bit. And then we are going to get uh, this brisket trimmed up. We're going to get it seasoned up. The ribs, I'm not going to do until the morning. But we're going to uh, uh, season the brisket up, get this Z grill running later tonight, throw it on, let it go. And we're going to see how this Z grills uh, pellet smoker does on uh, brisket and ribs. Now I will say I have done a cook with uh, with the Z grills on brisket and ribs probably about a week ago. Didn't film it. I, I honestly I wanted to like give it a test run and you know kind of see what I thought. I was really happy with the result. So I'm gonna put this on video. I'm gonna bring you guys along and uh, show you what this grill looks like. I'm really excited about this grill. Um, we're gonna head outside before it gets dark. I'm gonna show you the grill. And then later we'll come back inside, get the meat uh, trimmed up, seasoned up, throw it on. This should be good. Let's get started. All right, so here's the Z Grills. This is the 1000D. A couple things I like about it really quickly. You see down here at the bottom, we've got storage. You can store some pellets down here. You can store uh, foil, utensils, anything you need uh, down here at the bottom. So I really dig that. I like that about that. This here is the hopper. It is a 20 pound hopper. It just filled it up with some pellets. It can still take a few more. So 20 pound hopper, it's a good size. Here's your control panel down here. It is not plugged in yet, so nothing is on. But this is the inside. This is what I really like is that it has, as you can see, three different cooking levels. You have the first level down here at the bottom. Then you have the second grade and then the third grade. Here you have over a thousand square inches of cooking space, which is amazing. I absolutely love it. In fact, uh, if I'm exact, it's 1,060 square inches of cooking space. You could cook a lot of stuff on this. This is one of the things that I really love, as, especially since I'm someone who does a ton of cooking, to be able to, to have a lot of space here works great i mean i can easily put five or six you know briskets on here uh if i wanted to god i don't know how many racks of st louis ribs uh, i think it holds i think the website said 40 to 50 burgers i mean there's just a ton a ton of cooking space so i really love that especially for the price and i'll probably get into that a, a little more later but i just wanted to give you a quick look at the z grills i'm really really digging it so far like i said i've used it once it ran well we're gonna see how it runs again i have no doubt that uh it's gonna run just fine so uh the grease plate here i did put some foil <laughs> all right you guys i'm uh, sorry but I, I i just got a phone call that came in i got another customer i'm cooking tonight so i got another customer that wants to add to the order i don't even know where i was at on this quite honestly uh <laughs> Uh, what I was talking about. I think I was saying that I can, oh, um, I think I was saying the website says you can fit, like if you're doing burgers, I think it said you could do about 40, 45, anywhere from maybe 40 to even 50 burgers at one time. I mean, there's just a ton of cooking space on this. So I'm really, really digging it. So I'm gonna get it plugged in. Uh, the pellets that I'm running here this weekend, tonight, this is a mixture, this is some B&B &B pellets. This is a mixture of, uh, oak pecan and mesquite so that's that <clears throat> i'm gonna get this shut down i'm gonna head inside and i'm gonna start prepping some meat i just want to give you a quick rundown of the grill 
kind of give you an idea what it looks like, but I love, and tonight, I don't know if I'm gonna use this top grate tonight. I'll definitely use this middle grate and the bottom grate, um, but I love having three layers of cooking uh, space because I do a lot of cooking. So I could cook a lot of meat at one time. I'm really, really, really digging this. Now there are other pellets, uh, smokers that have three layers, but not for the price that you're gonna get for this Z grill. So I'm just saying, again, I'll, I'll get into that a little more later, but that's it. <clears throat> we'll get it shut down, head inside, prep some meat. Okay, so we have the brisket here and it is, um, this one is just over 15 pounds. So we're gonna do some trim in. I'm not gonna show it all. I'm gonna take off this deckle fat here this is some really thick fat that will not uh, render out. As you can see, it's just all fat. Like that's not, that's not something you want on your brisket. So we're gonna get that off. I'm gonna come through here. Just gonna trim it. The uh, silver skin off the top. So where the bark or the uh, rub sticks to it. So we got that. I'm going to try to leave as much meat as possible since this is for a customer. I want as much yield as possible. So I'm not going to get as carried away as I would if it was a, uh, a comp brisket. But we are going to trim this up here. I'm going to do it. I am going to cook this fat cap up. So that's that. We're going to turn this around. There's still some, I'm going to remove some more fat here, but you can see like all this fat coming up, that, that's just really hard fat. It's not going to render out, but there's some fat here that I want to get off that will not render out also. So get that off. I'm going to come back over here, trim a little more of this deco fat off. Careful. Spread it out. I'm gonna kind of thin this out or even it out. Over here we have this fat cap on the side here that we want to remove. And I'm just coming in about half an inch. A lot of times the side of this brisket will have some discoloration from the steaming process when they vacuum seal this or put in the cryvac. I'm gonna flip this over. You can see, I think you can make it out here. Hope you can make it out here. There's a lot of fat here. So we wanna remove some of that. So I'm gonna get this trimmed up. I'm gonna leave about a quarter inch flat or uh, a quarter inch of fat all the way around i'll show you what that looks like once i'm done trimming it all up or uh yeah trimming it up removing some of this fat i'll show you what that looks like all right so i have my brisket here i trimmed up uh the fat as much as i want i'm going to take some worcestershire some w sauce right over the top from Liam Parents, and then you know, just kind of give this a good little rub. That Worcestershire is gonna, is gonna give it a good little ubami flavor. I'm actually gonna trim this little tip off here real quick, right here. I'm gonna trim that off. We won't need that. Right there. So, trim. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, calm down. Get in the sink. So, I'm going to rub this down. A little more W sauce, Worcestershire. Until that, 
I am going to add some fajita seasoning from Fiesta, the fajita seasoning. This is a really, really good base rub on brisket. I show on a lot of meats. We'll get that rubbed down. And then I'm going to come back with some of the brisket rub from Fajita or from uh, Fiesta. This combination is really, really good, you guys. I'm telling you. <laughs> if you want to wow a customer, use this combination that you're going to see me use here. And then I'm going to come back with some coarse black pepper. Right over the, the edges. And actually, I like to use a couple of different black peppers. So this one is a little more coarse. And then I'll come back with one that isn't as coarse. Let's see where I can, oh, I got it right here. No, that's not it, where did I put it? Right in here, this one. What I'm gonna use is, um, it's a little less coarse, but I like to use two different peppers. Texture wise, I think it just works better. This one, this one is actually a coarse uh, black pepper that I just put in this container. Uh, the first layer that, that I put was actually a little more coarse than this, but I, I like to use two different ones and I probably should have put this one first. So we're gonna add that. here so this one isn't as coarse as the first one that I use but I like to use two different peppers um, I'm pat that in come back with just a little bit more of the brisket rub Flip it over. We're gonna do the uh, fat cap side. We're gonna add some Worcestershire. Come back with the fajita rub. I'm gonna come back with the brisket rub from Fiesta. This uh, fajita rub gets a good salty flavor to it. So we're gonna come back with the coarse black pepper right over the top. And I was, actually, I'm gonna use both of them. This one's a little more coarse than the other one. I'm gonna, like I said, come back with this one, which is just a little bit, uh, this one is a little bit less coarse, but I like to use two different peppers, quite honestly. on my brisket, so we'll get that rubbed down. We're gonna let this sit for a bit. This will probably sit for about an hour. Get all this rubbed in here. We're gonna let this sit for about an hour and then we'll get it on the smoker. All right, so I got the brisket on. I've got a, it's here is a, a point from another brisket. So we're gonna just season that up, throw that on. I've got it set to smoke under the bottom. So we're gonna let this run on smoke for, I don't know, about two to three hours and then we'll bump it up to about 250 and let it finish off. So this is what it looks like so far. We get the lid closed, let it cook and check back and uh, 
like I said, a few hours. Hey right, guys, we're gonna take a look at this brisket. It's been gone for about eight hours. Oh yeah. I have come out throughout the night and spritzed it. And I'm using some, uh, it's just a 50, 50 mix of uh, apple juice and apple cider vinegar. So, what it looks like, looking good. This bark is pretty much set. So, I'm gonna wrap it soon. This here is just a uh, a point from a previous brisket that I that I had. So, I'm gonna give it a quick little spritz. And I'm actually gonna let it go probably another, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes. And then, woo, hop. We'll take it inside and wrap it. So, that's what it looks like. We're gonna head inside and uh, start trimming up some ribs. All right, this brisket is ready to wrap. We're gonna take it right here. 30, man, this thing is tender already. Nice little jiggle. I like it. I'm happy with that. By the way, this is a um, a prime one brisket, if anyone's wondering. So there's that. I am going to get it wrapped up. I am going to wrap it in this butcher paper and then foil. I am going to add some beef broth to this. Get this open real quick. I'm just gonna dump it right in here. So this is why I'm using foil also to help hold this liquid in here. I want to come under with it. Okay. Like that. Put it right on the foil. Now you notice that I'm not going to cover the whole thing. I'm going to kind of leave it open like this. This again, the foil is just to kind of help um, hold those moisture. They, uh, hold the uh, beef broth in so I'm not really worried about closing it all the way like I would if I was only using foil so that's it we're gonna get it back on the pit let it go for another hour and it should be done all right so this brisket has been resting for a little while we're gonna start cutting it up actually let me put on the glove real quick this glove on and then we're gonna trim this brisket up see what it looks like Oh, it cuts good. That's a good sign. Feels really tender while I'm cutting it. So we're going to cut this flat. Oops turn it over or change it start cutting the point but man this uh this flat is actually feeling pretty good in fact i want to take a a look at this take a look at this one right here this little piece oh yeah that's just falling apart i can't even pick that up ah. Yeah, that's tender. <laughs> that is good. Very, very tender. Let's see what that looks like. Actually, we're going to do that right here. Oh, yeah. That looks good. Right there. Yum. Get this cut up. So I'm gonna get the rest of this cut up and then we'll give it a little taste test. 
once I um, once I'm done cutting up. All right, so this brisket is done. It's been resting. I sliced it up. Um, I got some right here from the point, which is my favorite part. I hate the flat. I don't like the lean, quite honestly. So we're gonna take some of this point here and this bark, man, let's see. I don't know if you can pick this bark up, but good gosh almighty, that bark is amazing. It looks so good. So let's give it a taste. That Z Grill has definitely put a beautiful uh, smoke ring on this meat. It did an excellent job. I was really surprised the temp, it held the temp. I mean, it fluctuated, but no more than like 10 degrees, which is, you know, normal, whether you're using a pellet smoker, a Weber, an offset or anything like that. So it, you know, temp wise, I think it ran perfectly. Anyway, let's give this brisket a taste right here. Salud. <laughs> That's good. Mm. Damn it, son. That bark. Man, that's just so good. Like, can you see that bark? I hope you can see that bark. It's just, good gosh almighty, it is beautiful. Good gosh almighty. It's good. Tender, it just, you know, when I bite into it, it's good. I need a napkin. <laughs> mm. Good gosh almighty. I think that that uh, Z Grills did an excellent job. It put a beautiful smoke ring on this brisket. I'm, you know, I'm definitely picking up uh, the smoke flavor. Those rubs together worked excellent. Man, this is so good. Good gosh almighty. Anyway, <laughs> it did a great job. I'm, I'm, I'm really, really impressed with the, with the Z Grills. I, 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 I think it worked perfectly. Um, I'm really digging the grill right now. I've done, I've done a couple of cooks on it already. And I, I think that it's, you know, it, it it's ran perfectly. It, it's ran fine. I, I haven't had an issue with it yet. Fingers crossed. Um, it's produced some really, really good products. So I'm happy with it. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you guys next time. Take care.